Amy Fuller here. This is the Lockdown Lowdown. For those of you who don't know me, I am a two-time Winter Olympic snowboarder. Tokyo 2020, it has been postponed. So I thought it was only right that I caught up with a few friends who were on the road to the Games. Yes, Max! I definitely like took a good few days to stop training. Got six weeks out of Warriors, and now I'm there for us. You challenge me, and I'll challenge you. <laughs> <laughs> Could you introduce yourself to the people out there? Hi, I'm Jay Jones. I do Taekwondo and I'm double Olympic champion and world champion. Bit of a legend. Just a if you didn't know that already. Yeah. Jay, whereabouts were you when you heard the news? Yeah, a lot of people think that like the athletes would have found out first or, you know, got some insight. But literally I was upstairs having me dinner and then it come on the news and then I just no. heard the word Olympic. So I was like, turn it up, turn it up and literally just you know, found out like everybody else. The hair's looking rather trim. I'm happy you said that because I cut it myself literally a couple of days ago. I'm Max Whitlock, GB gymnast and double Olympic champion. How are you feeling about the whole postponement? So I think the postponement of it, I think we need to be grateful that it's not cancelled. Yeah. So that's the way I'm kind of looking at it to try and be positive with it. And you don't want to run the Olympics when the kind of whole world is going through a situation where you know, not everybody can come together. Man like PT. How's it going? Very yeah, good, thanks. I compete in swimming. I'm British, Commonwealth, European, World, Olympic champion. You know, the best athletes in the world are adaptable and you've got to overcome those obstacles which will get in your way because there will be obstacles. So what's the point in me kind of getting emotional, getting like negative around things that I can't control? And you're currently sat I believe in your garage. Just show you around. Amazing. Um, where did you get all of that equipment from? Our like performance director messaged us and said uh, we had one hour to go and grab as much stuff as we could. So me and Bianca, we literally zoomed to the National Academy and chucking as much stuff as we could in our cars. And then we had like one day to like turn a messy garage into somewhere that I could train. <laughs> Shauna, how are you? Hey, how's it going? Yeah, definitely unusual times, but I'm, I'm not so bad. Thanks. Hi, my name is Shauna Coxey and I'm a professional climber. I've heard you've got quite the setup going on in your basement. Is this true? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we're pretty well prepared for this, actually. Yeah, we have two climbing walls in the basement and then like quite a big training area. You have like a fingerboard area. So climbers do a lot of like finger specific training. So it's really good to do that. Yeah, I do a lot of training from home anyway. So I'm quite familiar with it. It's not ideal to only train at home, but no, we're, we're really lucky. Are you just continuing some form of training or are you going to use this period to take a bit of a break? I've used this period as an active rest which basically means for us, we can eat a little bit of chocolate, have a little bit of fun. For me, it's it's more of a yeah, mental downtime, uh, physical downtime. Kind of three weeks out of the water is acceptable, but six weeks out of the water is a nightmare for us. What's a normal week look like? So normally I'm doing 10,000 meters a day in the pool, uh, plus gym. So about five or six hours in the, in the exercise, I guess. There is talks of getting the pool delivered to my house. Oh, um, delivered to your house? Yes, there is talks of it. Uh, if it goes on any longer, it'll have to have to be that case. I'm quite lucky because before we went into lockdown, I was trying to prepare as much as I can for what could be the future. So um, I brought my pommel horse back home um, and it's actually in the garden. Um, nice. It's weighed down with sandbags. I cover it at night with a barbecue cover. No way. There we go. That's what I've got. Do you want me to show you a couple of bits? Yeah, go on then. Hey, that's yeah. Yes, Max. Unbelievable. No warm up, even straight in. <laughs> yeah, God. I'll give you my best version of that. Are you ready? Go on in. Nice. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> that's perfect. That's that's obviously not what we call that like the one leg circle. How have you adapted your diet or are you sticking to it? Yeah, well, you know me, you know, I like my food. And um, obviously that's, I'd say that's one of the hardest things. I'm used to getting like weighed every other day by the coach to make sure I'm not too heavy. So, you know, that makes you stay on top of your weight. I'm hoping my coach won't be too mad and will be on the standard, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> 
nice to know that you're normal, just like everyone else. I've kind of identified food as a, the thing that makes me happy the most at the moment. So it's, and I think a lot of people will be in that boat where they're getting that high from their food. So what's on the list of things that you've never done before? That well, I played Clued over the first time, so obviously Clued I'm not Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and I won as well, so that's good. And we see you have been keeping busy with Whitlock workouts. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely, definitely keeping me busy. I'm kind of encouraging people and trying to inspire people why they are stuck at home to keep fit and healthy because I'm sure you know it's so important. But I'm just like trying to put out as much as I can to try and, you know, help encourage people to get fit and active because it'll make this time go a lot quicker if we keep busy. You challenge me and I'll challenge you. So you've got to balance the toilet roll and your foot and then kick it off. Sweet. Give me a sec. Right, so what am I doing? Oh, <laughs> oh yes, I probably won't be able to do that now. But I'll probably miss myself. Oh, oh. oh look at that. Oh. I've got the Olympics in three years, so. Oh. Oh. I have got a toilet roll challenge if you want to try it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, should I go and grab a toilet roll? Yeah. Oh, no way! Yeah? So just put it in between your feet, drop it. Okay. I mean... Oh! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, I'll take it, I'll take it, I'll take it. You can have one of mine now. Handstand. Oh. The word. God, Watch <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I have to get back up as it's nearly winded as well. <laughs> I'm scared now, though. Okay. <laughs> you made that look really too bad. We'll let you go have some lunch if you've not had it yet. Me, I'll go and have my second lunch. <laughs> Cheers, thanks, have a good and stay safe, everyone. And all the best with the training. Ah, thanks very much. Cheers. Thank you. Stay safe. That is a wrap. That is the lockdown lowdown.